Action items for living local provided by the Rachel Ray Show. Welcome back, guys. So we're inside our Louisiana Home Center kitchen, and good burritos are hard to find, but we think we may have found the place that makes a cut. We've got Chris and Dana Green, owners of Del Bob's Burrito of Denton, Benton. I'm sorry to put them to the test, guys. Welcome to our kitchen. Thank you. Thank Hi. you. Yeah, we're excited to have you. You guys have got the place smelling so delicious today. We try. Yeah, so tell us what we're making. All I see is a ton of tortillas. Well, <laughs> we've got the three different sizes we have. We got the, you know, we start with the 10, 12, mm -hmm. and we got 14 inch for the large so we've got some the shredded beef we've got the chicken we've got the ground beef taco meat and we got some fixings so we'll yeah. just put one together and roll it for you and well let let's, put it, fight let's over put it let's put it yeah we're definitely <laughs> gonna be fighting over it everyone's already claiming it this big burrito so let's get started what are you All gonna right. put on there first we're gonna put the refried beans spread those around okay and we're gonna just kind of top you know put it on with the rice and cheese we'll put a little bit of everything mm -hmm. well we didn't bring everything we just brought the majority of the stuff with us. Yeah. So this is like good to share too because you oh can yeah. pick up one of these burritos. You can have probably a half. My camera guy saying no, he's gonna eat this whole burrito by himself. I don't know about all that. That's a big old burrito. Oh yeah. <laughs> so tell me what kind of meat you're putting in there. That is our shredded beef. We have a dry rub we put on it. Okay. And it marinates for 24 hours and then we'll slow cook it. And once it comes out, we'll pull all the fat out. We, you know, we don't want you to get a big chunk of fat, so we'll right. hand pick that out. And then we'll um, put it in the juice, set it on the steam table, and ready to roll with it. Yeah, that looks so good. And then our fresh pico. Pico. You gotta have a little pico de gallo in there, right? Fresh little salsa. Mm -hmm. You like jalapenos? Yes, I do. Okay. It looks so good. I'm in my stomach, so all of a sudden, growling. Tell me a little bit about Del Bob's, guys. Del Bob's, well, it was, it's been a dream of mine always to have a sandwich shop. Well, my favorite sandwich is a rolled burrito, so <laughs> when we got to looking at the name, both our parents have passed as far as our fathers. Mm -hmm. So my dad was Delbert. Okay. And her dad was Bobby, so we named it Del Bob's. Del Bob's. Well, that's perfect. That's a perfect name. What and a great tribute to them. And we know that in Spanish, Del means of the. Yes. So we just tell people of the burrito. So come on out and get of the best burrito. There you go. That's perfect. And where are you guys at? I know that everyone at home, their mouth is watering right now looking at this burrito. They're we thinking, okay, where can I go grab Highway 3 in Benton. You just go past the uh, courthouse uh -huh. on Highway 3 Benton Road, and we're three quarters of a mile down the road. And we'll be right there on the right. Oh my. So there we're going to fold it over. You're making a lot of people happy today. We're going to tuck <laughs> it in. I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> There's your big old There's burrito. There's your big old burrito. That is a no joke. And I know that you also have some tacos for us. We're going to roll that up. Our, our director um, has already claimed this huge burrito. <laughs> so I'm going to let him have it today. I want a taco though. So what do we have over there? All right. So we got three street tacos. I got to finish my little tuck and roll. There you go. Make it look nice and presentable. <laughs> the and perfect burrito is ready to go. And we got some got tacos. The street tacos, which we, you know, we still have the Taco Tuesday uh -huh. on Tuesday nights. So if you want to come out on Tuesday nights from 5 to closing, right now we still are offering the uh, tacos for a dollar. Okay. Whoa, tacos for a dollar. Yeah, hard shell or street tacos. That's pretty good because those are a little bigger there. than your street style tacos, yeah. right? The this is the uh, regular street tacos, mm -hmm. the, uh, just the uh, four inch tortillas. We've got them in flour, and then we've got them in corn. This looks so good. You're putting some cheese in there. So cheese. Del Bob's is going to be in Benton, guys. So make sure that you grab some burrito street tacos. This looks so good. I'm ready to try it. I feel like you're just teasing me now. <laughs> now, here's the, we got the jalapeno. All the sauces are made in house. Everything, the meat, everything's made in house. That's the jalapeno ranch. And then we made a special green onion sauce. Yes. That, since my wife doesn't like anything spicy, <laughs> we're gonna come up with You don't this. like spicy stuff. So okay. that way you can try yeah. the jalapeno or the green onion. Ooh, so, so you got good. Two chickens and one beef. Two chickens and one beef. I don't know which one I want to try first. I think I'm going to do chicken. Guys, you're seeing the information right there on the screen. Del Bob's Burrito House. You definitely want to check them out. They're going to be in Benton. Guys, thank you so much for being on the thank show you. with us today. Oh, thank you. Pleasure having you. you got the it's place new. smelling great. We're about to put you to the test, though. And we got plenty <laughs> of ground beef for the other ones that didn't get the other tacos, so. Mmm, so good. They're so juicy, too. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Gotta We're going to send juicy. it over to Jesse Kelly for one more look at our forecast. 
All right, here's a look at the forecast for the next couple of days. As we go into your Friday, we'll see a temperature of 64 degrees. For the most part, Friday should be a dry day. We'll see those winds light out of the southeast at 6 to 12 miles an hour. Now, as you transition to your Friday night into the first part of your Saturday, we'll see yet another cold front work its way into the region. So, we'll begin to see those thunderstorms work its way across the northwest corner of the Arctic. So, as we get into midnight or so, the line of thunderstorms will work closer to about Shreveport, Bossier, as we get to about 7, 8, 9 o'clock on your Saturday morning. Then everything will slide more. Uh, down towards the Sabine and Natchez uh, Parish area as we get to noon. We'll see temperature around 65 degrees. Sales winds very breezy out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Once we get past Saturday morning, we're going to see plenty of sunshine for next week. We'll see temperatures turning much colder. We'll see highs, 40s, and 50s. And then we'll see those temperatures for nighttime lows falling back down to the 20s and 30s. So looking pretty wet for the short term, but turning much colder as we begin next week. Fernanda? Thank you, guys. And thank you, guys, everyone at home for hanging out with us. It's Tex-Mex Thursday, so make sure you head to Dub Bops and grab your burritos, some tacos. Guys, thanks again for hanging thank out you. with us. All hey, right. you got the fist bump down. <laughs> We're going to see you tomorrow, guys. Happy Thursday. Thank you. <laughs>